Hi there, you will find the majority of the people on this planet Earth, they are having a lot of problems. Sorrow, suffering, grief and pain. This has become a permanent partner of their breath. They are restless like a fish out of water. And the root cause of misery is they do not really have the philosophy of life. As I am Pandit, Fakir Yogi, Bhendra Yogi, I have tried to understand that life has to be lived very peacefully. Body has to be very sound, free from all diseases, and mind has to be also free from all kind of negativity. Never allow any negative thoughts, greed, anger, hatred, jealousy, and cynical thoughts to dominate your mind. These bestial and groveling thoughts will really induce you, inspire you to commit crimes, you will be violent, you will lie, you will cheat, you will commit all kinds of corrupt activities, you will be raping, murdering, spoiling, and grabbing everyone's health, wealth, peace, prosperity. Also, you will be always having absolutely dirty brain, where there is all hate, greed and hate, and then you will never be contented with what you have in your life, and you will want everything free without any hard work, without any commitment, without any passion. You want to have a lot of wealth, you have to do all the robbery, murder, massacre. Also, you do not believe in yourself. You believe that you cannot do anything else. You can only do that you rob, murder, massacre and loot and plunder everyone. The range starts from the beggar on the streets to the most illiterate to the wisest at the top of the helm like Putin, Zelensky, Biden and all. They are all fools. Their mind is fully saturated with evil thoughts. They have hegemonistic attitude. They are criminals because they are going for wars. They are ruining the lives of the innocent citizens of Russia and Ukraine, and that way they are threatening the world with Third World War. These are only because they are evils and devils and all kinds of nonsense people. I tell you, dear friends, if you want to live a happy life, a healthy life, a generous, kind and compassionate, honorable, respectable life, then you should always put the seed of pure thought in your mind. Always be non-violent, always be truthful, never steal, never be greedy, never be dissatisfied, never find fault with others, never criticize anyone. Enjoy your own life and help everyone to become a better person. And also they should be following your footprints because you love and care for everyone. So I tell you, if you really having the wonderful thought in your mind, you will be a really happy person. Joy will follow you every moment. But if you are having impure thoughts in your mind, this is the root cause of your stress, strain, depression, discouragement, disappointment, because just little shock in your life will make you perturbed, disturbed, and you start worrying too much. I tell you, Gita has a beautiful idea for that. Karmaneva dhikaraste ma phale sukhadasana. Ma karm phale tu bhu sangosta karmani. Your duty is to perform your task with full measure of dedication, devotion, and passion. And after that, you forget about all these, what will happen? Because you only can plant the seed of thought in your mind and nourish it. But beyond that, you cannot control everything because everything is not in our control. The universe is also having its say and very important say. But we should not invite problems by becoming criminal, evil, devil, and all kind of nonsense, bestial, groveling by that person. That's why you can control and be happy every time. But ultimately, we are going to die one day. Once Napoleon he asked, one of the greatest, richest men, Henry Ford, why you are not very unhappy? You are always cheerful and happy, but you have multiple problems. This is the course I have given you. Napoleon he asked Henry Ford that why he was always happy. When he has multiple problems, his products are sometimes failing. He's not able to go beyond T8 model. He told, look, and I tell you, he told that, any human being can only do what best he can do. Beyond that, he can do. So why you should worry what you cannot do? That's Buddha taught us. Love yourself. Care for yourself. Live a very peaceful and happy life. And do not really bother yourself where you have no control. See, like me, I'm Buddha, the modern time Buddha, Gautama Siddhartha. I'm Vivekananda, and I don't like people going for war. I'm very helpless because I cannot stop the war. What can I do? I'm very unhappy, but what can I do? So the best way is live my life because they will not listen to me. I'm ordinary mortals. 
just like you see the trees, plants, and all these, like rocks. Nobody listen to me because I'm nobody. They will not listen even my best friend Narendra Modi and Shunak, another great philanthropic, generous, and spiritual personality of power. Rishi Sunak, Prime Minister of the UK. If they do not listen to such great people, and these fools also sometimes indulge in this kind of hate game and greed game, I feel sad about it. Then you ask me who I am and what is my ranking. I am at the top of all because I am Pandit. You know, I love all birds, fish, animals, plants, and humans. And I want good for all, think good for all, and find good in all. But I want that if they are having bad things, they should imitate it. Vomit it like a venom. They should not remain a cobra for a long time. The whole earth is our family. Everything belongs to us. What Zelensky is staking and he is inviting Putin with a demonious attitude to destroy Ukraine. I feel I am hurt because I have feelings for everyone. We are really representing 8 billion people of the world because I am wise. I am not like the, those who told hate all, murder all, massacre all, rape. I don't believe in their dirty games. I tell you, love all, respect all, care for all, share all your wisdom with all. Make everyone enlightened, make everyone wise. If we have 8 billion wise people, why war? Why hate? Why problems? Why worry? Why anxieties? Why fuss and fume, hurry and rush? Because of ignorance. Ignorance is the root of all those evils. Envy is ignorance. Remember it. Love all.